become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding hi everybody golden era bookworm here and it is my pleasure today to announce my second collaborative work with film producer alex ardenti of ardenti films in the new bodybuilding film access muscle what can i say alex ardenti has done it again Featuring the who's who of bodybuilding, nutrition and fitness industry, Access Muscle is a new in-depth documentary series that explores the history, evolution and future of serious fitness and bodybuilding. From the get-go, Access Muscle explores the evolution of the fitness industry from its roots in ancient Greece right up to the modern fitness revolution we currently enjoy. I found Access Muscle a very motivating and enjoyable film for both fitness and bodybuilding enthusiasts alike. And get this, I am even featured in the film, but more on that later. Throughout this review, I will be sharing snippets of the film to whet your appetite, brought to you by Alex Ardenti of course. And to watch the film, simply head to Amazon or Vimeo, the links are given in the description below. Enjoy! Following in the footsteps of Sup's The Movie, Axis Muscle begins with an exploration into the origins of the gym culture. The film has four parts to it, with the first part exploring the birth and history of bodybuilding, focusing initially on the idea of a healthy mind in a healthy body which was the ideal of the ancient Greeks and Romans, and how through the Renaissance the beauty of the human form was appreciated. This led of course to the rise of strongmanism and the physical culture movement of the 20th century, which culminated into hotspots like Muscle Beach and later Vince's Gym and Gold's Gym. Featuring all the familiar old school bodybuilding legends like Dave Draper, Larry Scott, Arnold Schwarzenegger and so on, you're going to be salivating watching Axis Muscle. Let's get a sneak peek now at some of the footage of Axis Muscle featuring Vince's gym. The famous gym was Vince's gym because it had turned out the first Mr. Olympia, Larry Scott, Don Howarth, a lot of the great bodybuilding stars trained at Vince's gym. They had movie stars training their TV stars. Vince uh, designed all these uh, special equipment and pulleys. They really were great. They were very, very good equipment. He'd only put a piece of equipment in there that he himself had used that he, he himself felt was effective. If you didn't feel that way, it wouldn't be in the gym. If you're a fan of Vince's gym and Gold's gym, you're gonna love this film. Hell, if you're a fan of old school bodybuilding, you're gonna love it anyway. Axis Muscle does a brilliant job at diving deep into the history behind these iconic platforms that were Vince's gym and Gold's gym, which would later serve to market and showcase bodybuilding and fitness to the entire world. On the glossy covers of those wonderful nostalgic muscle mags we all grew to love. The golden era of bodybuilding was truly a special, unique and beautiful time as it served as the spark that ignited the fitness industry. Of course, the film also explores the major role that Arnold Schwarzenegger would play in popularizing the sport. Now there are a lot of fans of the abbreviated training methods popularized by both Arthur Jones and Mike Mensah. And again, Access Muscle brings this very significant part of bodybuilding history to you. The second part of the movie explores the birth and evolution of gym equipment and features of course the dogmatic approach of both Arthur Jones of Nautilus and Mike Mensah and his heavy duty training approach. Featuring images of Sergio Oliva, Boyoko, the Mensa brothers and Casey Viator. Fans of HIT are gonna love this movie. Here is another snippet of Axis Muscle, this time exploring the evolution of gym equipment, featuring some rare footage of Arthur Jones's Nautilus equipment, featuring both Casey Viator and Mike Mensa. Uh, all I can say it gives you the full range of the movement and uh, with regular conventional exercise you don't get it at all. How often do you train now? Twice a week. For how long? About a half an hour. So your entire training time is an hour a week? Right. And you maintain uh, your uh, conditioning with that? That's right. Limited training? Yeah. 
Mike Mincer ran into a guy who competed in the 1971 Mr. America, and the guy who won that was a guy named Casey Viator. When the year he won, Casey was only 19 years old. He's, to this day, he was the youngest Mr. American history. Anyway, he got friendly with Mike Mincer, and Casey was already associated with Arthur Jones at the time. So Casey told Mike about you know the, the style of training that uh, Jones advocated, and Mike Mike was a very pragmatic guy. He would think things through very deeply, and, and it made sense to him that you know why would you do 20 sets when you can get the same thing by doing one or two sets but going to failure? So he changed his entire training around and started doing the so-called high-intensity training, and he became a complete devotee of it, and he became just like Arthur Jones. He became very dogmatic in the sense that if you didn't train in a high intensity fashion, meaning very low volume, very infrequently, Mike Mensa would say, you're an idiot. And there was no two ways about it. Unless you train properly, which is high intensity, you know, going to failure, you were a fool. And a lot of people didn't like Mike Mensa because of I got along great with the guy, but you know, because uh, I, I did the high intensity system and it worked very well for me. Now we are going to hear from John Balick, the Iron Leader himself, who is also featured in Access Muscle, and he talks about the rise of the gym culture revolution and talks about it perfectly, beautifully. They saw Arthur Jones making millions, and they say, this is a market. So it really changed the culture of the gyms, and more importantly, it changed who came to the gym. That 20-minute workout on something that didn't look like a barbell was magic. It opened it to a huge number of people who would never be caught dead in a gym with barbells. In other words, a traditional gym. So that was the basis for the explosion of the gyms. John Ballack states this beautifully, doesn't he? He is spot on. And this is what the third part of Access Muscle is all about. The Gym Culture Revolution. Part 3 of Axis Muscle dives deep into the gym and fitness industry revolution that occurred during the 80s and 90s, with the popularization of gyms worldwide, and Axis Muscle explores this aspect beautifully. Featuring retro ads and shows, Axis Muscle showcases the gym culture explosion that has provided us with the gym culture we so much enjoy today. And with the fitness and bodybuilding industry evolving rapidly, that is where I come into the film. Access Muscle gives a very, very strong message that many of us resonate with today. Bodybuilding has evolved to a sport that unfortunately, many of us cannot relate to anymore. And in many ways, open bodybuilding specifically has become its own niche. It was the art of bodybuilding we all fell in love with, the aesthetics, the healthy lifestyle. And unfortunately, with open bodybuilding, it is all about size and more muscle, to the point of being freaky. Let's have a look again at another snippet of Access Muscle, where I and other like-minded celebrities in the sport are featured. Bodybuilding became a sport that was on a quest for size, the larger the better. And over time, these physiques got so gargantuan that they just became unattainable for the mainstream consumer. But now we're seeing a, a surge of interest in the golden era physiques only because these are physiques that are a little bit more attainable and these physiques are people that uh, you know, look more athletic and that is something that inspires people to want to be more like that. The message is crystal clear, isn't it? Most of us chase bodybuilding and fitness for health and fitness and Alex Ardenti ends Access Muscle addressing this very, very important point why the gym environment is so special. Axis Muscle celebrates the gym culture and why we love it so much. It is the common goal of health and fitness that drives us, that motivates us, that makes us want to go to the gym no matter what. We all share that same goal, fitness and health above all else. In this respect, Axis Muscle is an absolute celebration of our wonderful gym culture. In my opinion, Alex Ardenti has done a great job in portraying how far our gym culture has come, from its humble beginnings all the way to its now widespread nature. 
Axis Muscle is truly an uplifting and very motivating film with a good dose of nostalgia that both sings and reminds us of the one true goal of fitness and bodybuilding. Do it for your mind, do it for your body, and do it for your health and fitness above all else, because that, my friends, is true wealth. I do hope you have enjoyed watching my review of Axis Muscle, the new film by Alex Ardenti. Once again, you can view Axis Muscle online at both Amazon or Vimeo. Click the links below in the description and enjoy this wonderful and motivating bodybuilding film. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. And to support this channel, donate via PayPal, become a patron or visit my respective websites for ebooks, e-magazines, photos and merchandise. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying, bye for now. For a limited time only, get your autographed, collectible Marvin Eater photos at www.goldenerabookworm.com. They are selling fast. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvelous range of supplements using my code bookworm12. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.